Jews in America and Canada, they don't live under dictatorship, under repression. They live in the free world. And the only way that people living in the free world will decide to make Aliyah is because they feel strong connection, bond to their history, to their community, to their people, and to their country. What means in our struggle for legitimacy of the state of Israel, we have to strengthen the bonds between Jewish people. People don't choose to be a hero, but people do choose to decide that there are more important things in their life than physical survival. They want to be part of their people, of the history of their people, of their country, and this belonging becomes for them more important than physical survival. And they are ready to work very hard to, to make sure that they and the people of Israel together will succeed. And uh, it happens so that some of them then uh, uh, sacrifice their life, and some of them become symbols for many others. Do you think Michael Levine was a hero? No doubt. He became a very powerful example for thousands and thousands of Jews from America. And I personally saw how his story influences on many young students who are coming on MASA project to study for one year and then they hear the story of Michael Levine and some others like him and that changes their life. The best and most inspiring expressions of solidarity, of this bond, of desire to be part of the people is the decision of many young Jews from all parts of the world uh, to come and to serve in the Israeli army as volunteers, as soldiers, as uh, uh, Olim, as new immigrants. Long soldiers, whether those who came from the former Soviet Union by now their project, which means uh, youths who make Saliyad before their parents, or whether they are uh, those who came uh, to Tsabar project, or whether they are simply volunteers uh, who leave their homes in Philadelphia and Miami and come to serve uh, in Israel. They are the people who symbolize for Israelis that Israel belongs to all the Jews of the world and serving and fighting, defending your people is their responsibility. First of all, I want to say them thank you. Thank you for making this choice. Thank you for reminding us uh, how important is our Jewish home, uh, the state of Israel, for everybody. And thank you for risking your lives in order to guarantee the future of Israel and the Jewish people.